Okay guys, so in this video I'm gonna walk you through a JavaScript roadmap, so let's get into it. So this is a little roadmap that I put together as part of a few requests. And basically the idea of this little roadmap is to just give you a general overview of some of the concepts and tools that may or may not be fairly relevant uh, as at the time of making this basically writing this document so the idea here is not to give you every single possible tool there is out there in the world to learn because frankly there are so many different tools out there that no one person can learn them all all I'm going to show you is some of the tools that are fairly common based on my personal experiences and the experiences of me and my like my friends uh, and also I know what usually what people are asking for in the industry and I get contacted for job positions where these are very common things that are part of the job requirements but this is not you know everything out there but it should give you a good start so first and foremost these are the basic concepts so we have analytics Backend, the different type of editors you can consider, frontend, like the concepts of doing frontend development and some of the topics that are relevant there. We're also, we also have a section called getting a job because actually soft skills and the process of getting a job is actually something that I think is a little bit lost sometimes when we are helping new people get into the industry. Then we have infrastructure, linting, logging, networks, package management, project workflows, in other words, how you actually work within the project, task runners, testing, TypeScript, which is a separate section, because basically TypeScript has, in recent time, gone from being fairly popular to being probably one of the, if not the best candidate to doing enterprise development. And it's actually getting even more common. And I pre I'm pretty sure uh, this is, of course, a guesstimate on my part, but it um, it's getting more and more relevant and I don't see that going away anytime soon and then we have version control now I'm not gonna go into every detail about everything but let's just go from the top down and just look at the basic concept so analytics is basically the pretty much any project that you are going to be involved in is going to have some type of analytics going and analytics is basically just the company stakeholders who want to have information about how their system is doing and how people are using their system so that can range from wanting to know how many users they have to knowing how users interact with the product to look through click through rates to understanding conversion rates there's tons and tons and tons of this stuff and there's many 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 different tools on the market. I've just listed out a few of these and a few of the internal tools that I found to be very useful when I do this sort of stuff. And then we have backend which is a massive 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 ecosystem but since this is a JavaScript oriented roadmap we're going to focus on like node and so forth. And then we have the biggest section probably here which is like understanding architecture stuff of that nature. Uh, we have client validation strategies, how to actually validate a user, databases, the ones that I've listed here are going to have you fairly covered, they're fairly common for their different use cases. And then we have message queues, which may not be something that you use at your specific project, but it's a very good concept to know about because they're actually quite common for bigger projects. Uh, mid, like small companies up to mid-sized companies usually don't use message queues. Uh, they may do depending on our, like the, our, the type of application they're building, but larger companies do tend to have have a few of them at least or some of them so then we have node itself like actually running your stuff on this on the back end if you will and let's see here and then we have a little section about popular different editors stuff of this nature and here we have the front end section where we touch on bundling and like the different types of javascript bundle and bundling strategies we have uh, browsers, which is also a fairly important concept, although it might seem obvious to a lot of people, the, it's actually very important that you have a good understanding of how the browser interaction works between, you know, the server and like basically all the APIs and so forth, because you're going to spend quite a lot of time in the browser. And then we have CSS, of course, some topics that are useful to know about here. HTML, small section here, but we still need to have a look at something like semantic markup, for example, is a pretty useful concept to know about. And then we have JavaScript in and of itself, which is just going to be JavaScript, like the basics of JavaScript. 
and then I listed a few resources that I think are fairly useful for beginners and like people getting into the industry. I mean, I use those resources as well on an almost daily basis, so it's it's useful to know about. And since this is a take, basically there's a React focus within this little roadmap. I've listed out the stuff that is the most like core, the most core stuff for doing React development with Node and JavaScript in general. And let's see here, yeah, getting a job. This is a section where I list out a few tips and tricks and some things that you should be aware of as you're going through a well, the process of basically not having a job, finding a job, and then you're actually starting and kind of things that you should consider when you start working. And then we have infrastructure considerations, which is a super, super big area, but I still have, co I've tried to cover the stuff that is most like the more common things the stuff that although this is not critical information for every sin single position out there it's very useful to know about these things and you can you know kind of feel yourself how much how far in into this you want to go but it is a very like having a basic understanding of how infrastructure and operations actually work is fairly important if you want to be able to do full stack development in a modern application uh, and in a modern project today and then we have linting, a little bit of that, how to keep your code nice and clean, logging, the basics of logging and some common tools that are very popular within the Node ecosystem. And then we have networks, which is core technology, like these, these things here are pretty much core for understanding how networks work and like basically how the web is, as, it, as you know it today actually works. And let's see, what else do we have? Package management, short section about the most popular ones that you can read up on. What else do we have? We have project workflows, which is basically just some common concepts to know about as, at the time of making this document. Agile development is a very big concept, and we have waterfall development styles, things of this nature, like the which is a little bit older, but it's still relevant information to know about. And then you have continuous integration, few common tools that you may may well you're very likely to face these as part of a software team what else do we have we have task runners where well basically i just list out the task runners and we still talk a little bit about what's important to know about those and then we have a section on testing the different types of testing and thing concepts that you should be aware of some considerations things of this nature and the different tools that I've found my, like I know are either very popular or I know myself are very useful to know about if you're going to do serious testing using JavaScript. And then a small section here about TypeScript, just touching on that because I do think, although this is, of course, I mean, I can't keep everything 100% objective, but TypeScript has a fair, fairly high amount of relevancy and I can only see that getting higher as there is more, like more and more people are investing in this and then finally we have version control knowing about that stuff um, yeah that's basically it so I will include a link to this document in the description of the video and hopefully you will find this useful I have a little bit of an FAQ section here as well because I can I foresee that this is probably going to uh, this document is going to change over time so I just wanted to set things up so that at the very least you have somewhere to start if your goal is to go from a well depending on where you are if you if your goal is to become proficient within JavaScript development and being a full stack JavaScript developer this will this document should give you a very good start most of these skills I have on my CV as well and I can firsthand tell you that these skills are very pretty much everything I've listed out here is very very relevant in the workplace at the time of making this video have a great day